back playing with the WRX. It's time to we'll do the same as what I've just done with those XR5 seats. Pressure wash. That's the only thing that's going to clean this stuff. Plus it, yeah. So I'm going to pull it all out. I've just started cleaning the rubbish and stuff out of it. You can see the seats aren't ripped or wrecked or anything. It's a little bit worn on that edge, but just pull them out, pressure wash them, clean them properly. It's still got original mats and everything, which is great. Um, yeah, clean the carpet, put the dash together. Should be mint. Anyway, let's get them out and get them clean. Cleaner, so I'll use window cleaner. We'll give it a spray. You can see how bad it is. This will come up perfect, but it's awesome. Just any sort of cleaner, as long as it doesn't have ammonia in it, because the ammonia will bleach your seats. But yeah, righto. I'll get this all sprayed up and get it clean. Alright, okay, so that one's out. I think the carpet will clean up alright. Looks alright in there. And um, this seat's pretty putrid but it'll be mint so you can see the stains and that in it down the front there's pretty bad but yeah no rips so we'll give this a pressure wash and see how she comes up look at the human slime that comes out of them just had a bloke message me and this happens all the time and it drives me absolutely crazy like I don't buy things because I don't want it you know what I mean I don't buy it just because it's there that Morris there right it's got a motor in it. it's got a 1275 in it I've got that mini sitting there and another shell there and the front end there and the brakes off that make a complete car message oh, I saw this in your yard like what are you doing in my yard to start with do you want to sell it no oh um, do you know of any have a look on marketplace mate gum tree you'll find something like same as i have to do i have to look for the stuff to buy it then transport it and all the rest of it then messages me back for 10 minutes later just then and goes i can't find one what do you want for yours it's like mate i told you i don't want to sell it because if i sell that to you then i just have to look for another one because it drives me absolutely fucking bonkers like anyway it's it's, it's as if i'm the only person in this country with cars like they're everywhere, you just gotta look. Anyway, end of rant, back to the seats. Come up mint, got rid of all those stains. That's perfect. Even the rails cleaned up all right too, which is good. I was thinking I was gonna have to paint them, but it's nice. Very happy, it's good. One more to go. It's been a productive day of cleaning, so that one's done. They're all everywhere. There, all the WRX maps. I might try and dye these black again and try and mask that off or something. That one's mint too. Boot mat. Um, it's pretty clean in here now. Um, door trims have come up good. So we'll replace the dash bits and put a stereo in it. Um, remember we had that issue at the back of that back seat. I've just rust converted that and painted it all. So it'll dry and it's all mint. So yeah, had a productive day. Let's get it back together tomorrow, hopefully. I'll just check the weather. It's not going to rain overnight, so I'm going to leave this stuff out. Yeah, awesome. All right, WRX seats are back in. The bottom one looks mint now, and I haven't didn't pull the back one out and pressure wash it, but I've got the cleaner coming, so I'm going to do the top of that one and the top of that one at the same time. But it's all clean in here now. I've done all the carpets. Door trims are all clean. Seats have come up really well. This was putrid in here. Still gotta do that dash stuff there, put that back together, get some out of another car, but to get to the WRX I want it, I mean the Subaru I want to get the parts out of. It's a bit of a mission. Next step will be looking at the tint. So I'm gonna have to get this tint off the windows and get it retinted. So yeah, and find a parcel shelf that's either better with no holes cut in it or get some decent speakers to cover them holes up. I'd rather find a parcel shelf with nothing and put some speakers under the parcel shelf. But hopefully in one of the impresses I've got over there in amongst that stuff to be able to do that. But I'm pretty happy. It's come up quite well. 
bottom seat is really clean now. Now I'm just gonna, it shows you how dirty that one is now though. But I've got that steam cleaner thing that I've bought and the door and the mats to do too for this thing. So yeah, but that's 10 times the car it was. Like it was putrid before, eh? Right, eh? Progress. Now I've run into trouble with these wheels. I'm actually gonna go and look at some spaces to go from 108 stud pattern to 114 to try and put those GT Hustlers on this. They're a 15 mil spacer. It looks like I'll have room. So I'm gonna sit down now and work out what studs I want, what hole center and order two of the spaces. I'll just order two for now and see if they work and go from there. So we can get wheels in this thing. My apprentice Savannah is, so these are the WRX GC8 mats. I did buy a set of genuine mats for Nicole's WRX and they're bloody expensive. So what I'm doing is you can see how they've worn, right? That one there's gonna be bad, but she's just going over the red parts. So then we can, cause what I've done is I've done a test run on, um, where's that brown mat Savannah? Oh, there. I've done a test cause with everything going up, VHT paint, which is your dye paint that I'd normally use for doing a carpet, is massively expensive. It's like quadrupled in price. So I just had some export paint and I've done a test run on, get it out in the sun, on this mat here with just some export satin black. All right, so you see that come up quite well. And if you don't do it too heavy, it doesn't clump. It's not terrible, it's not gonna come off. So that worked out quite well. So Savannah's masked off the outers and she's done a coat on these which will just bring them back to black because they were pretty faded and she's going to do the same thing on those mats there and then we're going to go over the WRX Impreza with the red paint just to bring the mats up then she'll go over the over the red with the red and a brush and yeah and I'll find one of these pieces to glue back on out of another Impre uh, just a normal Impreza but then I'll have original mats. We'll do the outers so they look good because you'll see on the focus mats, I've got to pressure wash these, but the outers, it just looks better with it slightly different color around the outside. So both cars are coming along well. Mm, yeah. Okay, so this one's masked up still. It's been painted. So you can see she's got the letters and that on there. This one's been painted and then she's about to do the red. So they've come up well, that'll be good. Yeah. Very, very hard to find WRX mats. It took me a long time to find the ones for Nicole's car, so we'll just repair these ones. Right, okay, so that's one first coat with the red, but I'm happy with that. That's really brought the mat up. And she's working around that one there. That was the worst one, the driver's one, but it'll come up neat. So yeah, how good's that? Very happy. Mm-hmm. You can see that one there is coming up pretty bright and nice, like it's pretty good. And then this one here was the one that was missing most of the letters, it's come up all right. She's still got another coat to do on that, and a little bit more on that. But I ran out of um, satin black paint, so I tried, I got some gloss, and when I painted it on this section here, it looked a bit funny. But um, it's just, if you use gloss, it does dull off. It's just a little bit darker, and it feels a bit stiffer than the satin so i went and got some more satin but those ones there are finished the rear ones we masked off this outer edge see how it's a slightly different color so we masked that off so that it just you know gives it that nicer look you know what i mean but yeah so i know you just probably think why don't you just go buy some mats but oh you know original mats are original mats and yeah i want to get this car back to pretty nice so anyway i'll whack them ones in move this we're going to get the forester in now because that's one of the next ones for sale. Get that cleaned out today and hopefully put up for sale tomorrow with any luck. So yeah, because it's ready to go, it's a good car. Right. Pretty happy, mats are in. I've still got to find, see the front bits worn there, so I've got to find one of them to cut off another one and glue it on, but the WRX come up well, it looks good. Very, very happy. See, nice. It's interior starting to come up clean. I've just got to fix this dash bit now and put that together and um, continue on with it. Looking good, but.